So have you ever finished watching a supposedly complete growing guide on the next plant you want to learn how to grow and afterwards you thought to yourself, man, that was definitely not a complete growing guide and I still have so many questions. Me too, and that is why we are going to be doing an actual complete growing guide on radishes today. And we're gonna keep it short and we're gonna get straight to the point. Also, make sure you guys hang out till the end. I have an awesome bonus tip. I don't know if you guys have ever had radishes that have came out with like hollow cores. I have two really good things that are gonna help out with that. So hang out till the end. So first thing we're gonna talk about is soil. We're gonna get down low so you guys can get a good look. So I can tell you from experience with radishes, they are not picky when it comes to soil. I have grown them in everything from super clay, lacking nutrients, native soil, to now we grow everything with a nutrient dense compost addition and we add granular fertilizer. So they are not picky when it comes to soil. Also, there is a myth floating around in the gardening community that I would like to debunk today, claiming that supposedly the higher the nitrogen content of your soil, the more foliage production you'll get, but the lesser size bulb of your radish resulting in a much smaller size bulb. That is simply not true. Again, I've grown in everything from nutrient lacking, heavy clay soil, all the way up to super loose, super high nutrient and nitrogen dense soil. And they do well pretty much any way you grow them. So whoever came up with that myth is a fibber. Not true. Sorry, not sorry. Now with that, radishes do prefer looser soil in order to form more proper size bulbs. They'll grow in anything, but they are gonna do slightly better in looser soil. So if you're using containers, just make sure you're growing in a good quality, loose potting mix. If you're growing in ground, me personally, I like to add a compost and I just till it in with my native soil and that ends up giving me a really good, loose, well-draining mix that they can move around nicely in. So main takeaway here, put them in loose soil. They're gonna prefer it. They'll grow better that way. As far as seed planting goes, you're always gonna to wanna to start from seed. Radishes have an extremely sensitive root system when they are young and they will not do well when you try to transplant them. So start from seed. Also, mid video bonus tip, if you're not sure at what depth to plant your seed, good rule of thumb is to plant your seed at a depth that is twice the diameter of your seed. So radish seeds are really small. They're like an eighth of an inch around. So that puts us at a quarter of an inch planting depth. And you can apply that to any garden seed. And don't get too caught up on that. They're not gonna be super picky if you're a little off. You could go like as high as an eighth of an inch, as low as three quarters of an inch. They come up just fine. And you can either plant radishes by hand or use a cedar like the one I have right there. Cedars are going to save you a ton of time, even if you're a home gardener. Definitely recommend one of those. Let's talk about spacing. Again, I've been growing radishes for the last four or five years. I've grown as just a home casual grower and now growing as a commercial market gardener. I can tell you with 100% confidence that radishes don't give a single hoot about how much spacing they have. You can grow them super close together. Like you can literally grow them right on top of each other and they're not gonna care. As far as watering goes, just water them in well when you plant them, just like you would any other plant. You wanna keep them evenly moist until they germinate. Radishes germinate super fast, depending on the weather, anywhere from one to three days. And when they do sprout, I wouldn't worry too much about thinning them. I plant mine with the earthway cedar and I don't thin them at all. And again, like you saw, they grow just fine. I guess if you were growing one of those like super fat, chonky varieties, you'd want to space them out a little bit like a watermelon variety. But if you're growing a standard variety or a French breakfast variety like this one, don't worry too much about spacing them out or thinning them at all. Radishes prefer to be evenly moist. You don't want them like super soggy, drowning wet, but you definitely want to water them more. If it's hot out, regular weather, just keep them evenly moist and they're going to do really well. Radishes are gonna thrive in the spring and fall. You can actually grow them in summer. I do that sometimes. You wanna make sure you keep them really well watered and you also wanna make sure that you harvest them a little sooner than you normally would. You're gonna get a smaller radish, but if you let them sit too long, they're gonna to wanna to go to seed really quickly. 
They'll just pull them out a little bit early. You'll have smaller radishes, but they'll still be just as good. Bonus tip, like I said, sometimes radishes come out with hollow cores and they don't have as good of crunch to them. What I found is the watering, again, like we said earlier, is super important. Whenever you don't keep them evenly moist, that's typically when they begin to hollow out like that. And harvesting them quickly is going to prevent this also. If you let them sit in the ground too long, they're gonna get that hollow center to them. So evenly moist, harvest at an appropriate time. If you guys got value out of this video, I would super appreciate a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see more gardening, how to use tips and tutorial videos, make sure you guys subscribe. I will be doing videos fairly regularly now. Let me know if you have any other radish specific questions down in the comments section. And I challenge you to find something I did not cover in this actual complete radish growing guide. Bye.